chapter 26. Make the tabernacle from ten sheets of fine linen. These sheets are to be decorated with blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, with figures of cherubim skillfully embroidered into them. Each sheet must be 42 feet long and 6 feet wide. All ten sheets must be exactly the same size. Join five of these sheets together into one set, then join the other five sheets into a second set. Put loops of blue yarn along the edge of the last sheet in each set. The fifty loops along the edge of one set are to match the fifty loops along the edge of the other. Then make fifty gold clasps to fasten the loops of the two sets of sheets together, making the tabernacle a single unit. Make heavy sheets of cloth from goat hair to cover the tabernacle. There must be eleven of these sheets, each forty-five feet long and six feet wide. All eleven of these sheets must be exactly the same size. Join five of these together into one set and join the other six into a second set. The sixth sheet of the second set is to be doubled over at the entrance of the sacred tent. Put fifty loops along the edge of the last sheet in each set and fasten them together with fifty bronze clasps. In this way, the two sets will become a single unit. An extra half sheet of this roof covering will be left to hang over the back of the tabernacle, and the covering will hang down an extra 18 inches on each side. On top of these coverings, place a layer of tanned ram skins, and over them put a layer of fine goatskin leather. This will complete the roof covering. The framework of the tabernacle will consist of frames made of acacia wood. Each frame must be 15 feet high and 2 and 1 quarter feet wide. There will be two pegs on each frame so they can be joined to the next frame. All the frames must be made this way. Twenty of these frames will support the south side of the tabernacle. They will fit into forty silver bases, two bases under each frame. On the west side there will be six frames along with an extra frame at each corner. These corner frames will be connected at the bottom and firmly attached at the top with a single ring forming a single unit. Both of these corner frames will be made the same way, so there will be eight frames on that end of the tabernacle supported by sixteen silver bases, two bases under each frame. Make crossbars of acacia wood to run across the frames, five crossbars for the north side of the tabernacle and five for the south side. Also make five crossbars for the rear of the tabernacle which will face westward. The middle crossbar, halfway up the frames, will run all the way from one end of the tabernacle to the other. Overlay the frames with gold and make gold rings to support the crossbars. Overlay the crossbars with gold as well. Set up this tabernacle according to the design you were shown on the mountain. Across the inside of the tabernacle hang a special curtain made of fine linen with cherubim skillfully embroidered into the cloth using blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. Hang this inner curtain on gold hooks set into four posts made from acacia wood and overlaid with gold. The posts will fit into silver bases. When the inner curtain is in place, put the Ark of the Covenant behind it. This curtain will separate the holy place from the most holy place. Then put the Ark's cover, the place of atonement, on top of the Ark of the Covenant inside the most holy place. Place the table and lampstand across the room from each other outside the inner curtain. The lampstand must be placed on the south side and the table must be set toward the north. Make another curtain from fine linen for the entrance of the sacred tent and embroider exquisite designs into it using blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. Hang this curtain on gold hooks set into five posts made from acacia wood and overlaid with gold. The posts will fit into five bronze bases.